Like this is good enough. Like this is enough? Yeah. Good morning! I hope you guys are doing well. This is our second time doing Umrah. The purpose of this video is to explain to you how it's done. I'm not a professional, but when I did my first Umrah, which was super emotional and I couldn't take my phone um, on the first time because I really wanted just to do it for myself, for my family and friends, I was actually so surprised how short it actually is. I always imagined it to take long and to be super exhausting and this is the purpose of this video and the first step is to go to Masjid Aisha you can actually take any Masjid outside in Mecca This is Masjid Aisha and we came actually for Maghrib time so we first gonna pray Maghrib and then we're gonna pray Turukhat Rule number one, don't leave your shoes anywhere please don't take any nice shoes <laughs> Do I say this before or after? After. After? Ah, okay. Forget about this part. Uh, we just uh, prayed Maghrib and uh, two rak'at and we said, Allahumma labayk, Allahumma labayk, labayk, Allahumma la umra. Sah? Sah. Okay, update. After the message of Aisha, Khaled and me are going now to. I mean the Kaaba. Now at Din, Salat al Asha. So if we're lucky, we can actually pray Salat al Asha Jua. Let's see. Look how many people. Look how many people. You think we will make it inside? I hope so. Okay. Okay, we didn't pray inside, inside, but like in the entry. And wow, look, guys, how many people. Mashallah. This is the Kaaba. Allahumma. Allahumma. Finished seven rounds around the Kaaba and I put a timer. We need per round with Zahma five minutes. And now we're doing Safa, the one uh, mountain and Marwa, the other one. And wherever you see this green light, you need to walk a bit faster, which is what we're gonna do now. So, so here, you also need to do seven rounds. Like one is one, two back, three, four, five, six, seven, you know? So actually, this won't take long too. And every time you reach one mountain, يعني صفا أو لمروة. You need to say a dua. Green light is over, so you can walk slower. Let me just tell you very briefly what the story of صفا and مروة is. سيدنا إبراهيم عليه السلام had a wife. Her name was Sara. Sara got gifted a maid, and her name was Hajar. Hajar um, could get babies. Sara couldn't get babies. So Ibrahim married Hajar as well, but it made Sara sad basically, which is why uh, Ibrahim السلام, abandoned Hajar outside. Outside the sham. Uh, so Ibrahim. He was in Palestine. Ah, Ibrahim was in Palestine and he abandoned Hajar outside the sham, which is where he brought her to Saudi, as a Mecca. And then he abandoned her basically in a place without food, water or anything and she had a child. The child's name was Ismail, Ismail, uh, Ismail salam. Do I say all the time alayhi salam? Okay. So Hajar went back and forth, this is the saying, between Safa and Marwa praying to get like any kind of food or help in that moment. Under Ismail's foot when he was a baby, a baby basically water started to come out of the ground. So she put her hand there and was like zimmi 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 so basically like hold it together put it more which is why we call this water today from Safa and Marwa in between Zamzam By the way, everywhere you go here you see a Zamzam water and you can drink it for free everywhere and it's pretty nice I just want to 
want you to see it. So, this is Marwa. I will show you Safa in a bit. And we are done! finished the seven rounds I'm honestly so glad that we, we did this just because I always just imagined it differently and now having made it gave me a lot more confidence like Alhamdulillah Cheers. Alhamdulillah and with this Umrah 2023 comes to an end thank you <laughs> You know what just happened? Khaled's dad called us and reminded us that we didn't cut something from our and hair. We can't find the scissors, so we're gonna use this. We gotta use. Hold it, I will, I will cut for you. Let me take from here. I will do it. You, you'll cut too much. Get this one. I have oh. to make one centimeter now. Yeah. Mine, you have to cut mine. <laughs> Wait! I will make you feel the pain that I have. Why are you making yeah. it a surgery, Adi? I mean, it's just a small thing. <laughs> and now, the Umrah is actually done. Bye! <laughs>